Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Overking here back in the video. And today I am kind of stupid. So I've already finished the whole video you're about to watch. Like normally I try to record my intro beforehand, yada yada, stuff like that. But this isn't like even me trying something new, but you know what? I might as well label it as me trying something new. But I'm kind of stupid and I just forgot to record a, uh, hit, uh, hit record when I recorded my intro. So I thought I recorded an intro and I just didn't. And then I finished the rest of the video. But what you're about to see is a time lapse of me building a wheat field for my, uh, for, well, just wheat. I need wheat for today's episode. Just trust me, it'll make sense once I'm done explaining the rest of everything. And worst case scenario, I go back and rewatch my own video and forget that I forgot something and explain an next video. But I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and I'll be back in a sec. And I hope you guys enjoy. amazing time elapse and actually you're gonna hear that line twice because I'm back again because I forgot to record something or it got deleted because I forgot to explain this yes I forgot to explain this weird contraption that's sitting outside my house well this is a mud farm well technically a mud farm. it doesn't actually create mud but it makes it so dirt gets automatically turned into mud the way this works is, I'm going to guess, so basically this stuff is redstone. I don't understand this part, 
like how this stays powered and yada yada stupid stuff like that but we're just gonna ignore this for a second but we're gonna focus on the part i understand so there's water bottles in here and when this gets activated, because you place a block here, which allows the redstone signal to transfer to here, it shoots out a water bottle, filling it with water, and the water drags it up to this point right about here, in which, at that point, when you break this, it frees up a spot in the hopper for everything to go through, and then everything is... Whoa. Okay. And then everything is perfectly set up like that. And then it basically rinses and repeats. It shoots out the water bottle, yada yada, and you go over and over again to save in the current, and you have mud. But now it's time for you guys to hear this line again. Very, very annoying me. But I hope you guys aren't too annoyed. I really messed up this video. I'm trying to get, like, three different things set up right now outside of, like, the YouTube video. Like, I'm trying to get a Halloween costume set up because I think that would be fun for a Halloween Minecraft skin, which I think would be interesting. And then I'm trying to get, like, another, like, few things set up that you guys may see later, but I don't know. It's, it's, I'm working through it. But, um, you're about to hear me repeat myself a few times, so I'll let you guys listen to that. Well, welcome back, everybody. We are done with our little wheat field for now. Because, A, I have to wait for this all to grow to do something else. And also, I want to build a little hut here. Now, part of the reason why I want to wait till the wheat field is done is because I want to utilize one of my new favorite blocks, and probably my most favorite block in all Minecraft, the mud blocks. Well, technically it's a category of blocks, like a wood type or something like that, but I would love to use mud way more often, which is exactly what I have been setting up today. This is, has been like my whole mission throughout the day, is to set it up so I can use mud. So, you may be wondering why I have normal mud in my inventory instead of, like, making packed mud. Well, we're actually going to be using normal berry today, i.e. I already have. Off camera, for a little while, I actually set up something. This is my next big project. Because last episode, I said I was going to be beginning a large project. And I know it, well, I mean, I know, you guys don't. But this is not the original project I had in Tail for you guys. Originally, I was going to do something completely different and completely off the deep end with this, but for some reason, I decided I wanted to do this first. So, I wanted to build a zoo, or, well, some sort something that re re resembles a zoo, because, I mean, like, I, I doubt I could get, like, a legitimate zoo in my head, because, A, that takes a long, long building process, but also, there's just not really the mobs to represent, like, a normal zoo. And honestly, I don't know how to put this. I don't feel like that does the animals justice. I want to do something that'll basically put the animals to both what they would have in their natural habitat, but also how they behave in game. I.e. if a pig would eat a wither skeleton instead of a carrot, I would give them like a wither skeleton in their pen. But since they don't, they will just get like mud and all that, like their normal stuff. So... I think your guys are kind of starting to understand where I'm going with this. So, I would love to do this. I've wanted to do this for a while now. I actually started it before on my, well, this was still considered the solo survival world. And I kind of had to stop because the server broke. Also, for some reason, I decided to start with sea turtles instead of pigs. So, that contributes a little bit. But, I'm going to start off with pigs here. So, I'm actually already complete with the pig pen. And... This is basically just based off how I see them in real life. Because I raise pigs myself, like, quite often. Like, I s just don't have any at the moment, sadly. Because we send them off to butcher every year, and we, like, rotate through, yada yada. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you understand. So, I don't currently have any of them. But from the eight years, eight, almost ten years, I've been raising them. This is the kind of stuff that I would want to include in their habitat. Or, well, their pet. I would like a under shelter so they can rest and hide from the sunlight. I would like some a mud hole, generally actually pretty decently to this size. I mean like normally you would want them to have more running space than this, but since A this is Minecraft and B this is quite a large shelter area, these normally pigs will just come and lay down and normally this would be huge for them. I figured this would be fine and also I plan on putting a tree here because why not? 
I figured it'll help with the aesthetic. But also, I have like a mud hole, which, if you guys didn't know, pigs use the mud holes to block out the sun. So they don't get sunburned, stuff like that. They use it like a human uses sunscreen. Which is quite a fascinating fact to think about because pigs are generally seen as dirty animals due to the fact that they have uh, that they are always in mud. But what people don't really realize so most of the time is that pigs are in fact covered in that mud due to the fact that, well, that's how they need to be to not be in pain. So it's less of a choice of being dirty or a dirty animal, and it's more of a choice of intelligence like it's kind of intelligent that a pig is smart enough to use mud as a way to deter the sun from itself and i'm just going to be going around and picking up a few pigs when i find them um okay there's some more some more and then i can breed them up if i ever want more but yeah i think i'm gonna do these guys for now and we're gonna have our first animal in this little zoo of course, for this, we're going to start off with more of the, how do I phrase this, passive mobs. Or, well, generally farm animals. I mean, I'm still debating how I want to organize this, and I think starting with a pig it would leave me open to a few different organization methods. My first one being uh, organizing them by, like, hostility, passive, that kind of stuff. But uh, I've decided against, you know what, I'm going to organize them by, like, not just passive, like most of the passive mobs will be together. Most of the mobs that go to the, uh, are in the nether will be together, stuff like that. But I'm actually going to organize this by like what they represent. Like these are farm animals. This is something you could go out and just see in your average farm. And this is going to be this section. This section is basically going to consist of like your dogs, cats. I'm not saying they're farmed. I'm saying you could see them on a farm. Chickens, pigs, cows, sheep goats i want to say i mean i guess in minecraft they're more mountain goats so that could cause some conflicting interests there but i'll just treat them as normal goats and i'll put a hill in there for them to jump on because even in like farms they like to climb stuff it's kind of annoying when your goat jumps up on their feed barrel when you're trying to feed them speaking from experience here my goat still lives outside my house hopefully forever but you know who knows life happens but we're going to have it organized like that. And then we're going to have more exotic mobs like the po like polar mobs, which I actually just think is the polar bear. We're going to have like a little section for aquatic mobs like cod, salmon, tropical fish. And we're going to have the tropical fish and like ocean dwellers separated from them. But I feel like this is a great starting point. It kind of gets the basis out of the way. It already represents what the pigs represent in Minecraft. A basic bear necessities mob. Which is kind of how I see them in Minecraft. I think, like, they're the least interactive. Well, at least. Yeah. I suppose they are. No matter how upsetting that makes me. Even though I do wish they made it so, like, they could get mud, muddy. Which would be absolutely amazing. Like, could you imagine having, like, a duration where your pig is covered in mud? Like, that would have been awesome. And honestly, I hope they do add that sometime soon. But, sadly, I can't get that at the moment. So we're gonna have to live with this. I feel like this is, like, the best display of how I would handle them in real life outside of, like, not including a self-feeder. Which, actually, you know what? I could build a self-feeder. A self-feeder is basically, like, a giant tube that gives pigs food whenever they go through and eat. I have a kind of large one, so I'm going to do more of a smaller one for here. Actually, I feel like... No, I've got it. I've got this. I've got this. I'm not completely stupid. I feel like I could do this. We'll also take some of this. We're going to go over here. Crafting table. Boop, 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 boop. And we're going to get some slabs. Also. And then we're going to break down this wood. Turn these into two trapdoors. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to use pressure plates for this. Because a pig can normally lift it up with their head. And then just eat the food whenever they want. But since they can't do that in Minecraft, we're going to have to improvise a little bit here. Let's fly back out here to our lovely first little pig pen. And let's see how I want to do this. Um, my cat is climbing onto my lap. Please ignore that. Um, 
I should just do it like this. 